Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. It's been a little while, but today I just wanted to kick back and talk about a specific weapon for the spy. You got blood on my suit. The sharpened volcano fragment. The sharpened volcano fragment. This is a shitty knife. Look at it. You can't even back people with it. Yeah, just kidding. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite spy revolver, the L'Etranger. The L'Etranger is a craftable revolver for the spy. It's also available through the item drop system or trading for a stranger collector's one. The L'Etranger is one of really the only utility revolvers that the spy has, other than maybe the Diamondback, which, if you use the Diamondback, you and Daddy need to have a little talk. I get to tend the rabbits, right, George? <laughs> so I'm just going to throw up the L'Etranger's stats on screen real quick. This revolver gives you 15 cloak back, whatever the hell that means, each time you land a shot on an enemy. A shot that does 20% less damage than the stock revolver. However, as a passive on rare attribute, the L'Etranger increases your maximum cloak duration by 40%, which translates into the exact figures displayed on this graph here, courtesy of the folks at the TF2 Wiki. As you can already imagine, that 40% cloak duration buff is absolutely huge. Huge problem. It's a huge problem. The huge problem. That is a huge problem. It's a huge heroin problem. Instead of having to constantly have your butthole puckered considering what you're going to do next, you can relax your sphincter a little bit. And with the stock Invis-Watch in the L'Etrange, you can traverse the entire map without ever having to decloak. And no, this is not an exaggeration. <laughs> Of course, the L'Etranger is not without its drawbacks, and the 20% damage penalty is absolutely worth noting, because it means even a critical shot from this revolver doesn't break the 100 damage threshold. Which, before the Pyro update, meant that fully overhealed snipers with the Razor back on were completely off limits for you. If you would have to land all 6 shots at base damage in order to kill them, and at base damage, it takes still, to this day, it takes 7 to kill a soldier, and a whole 10 shots at base damage to take down a 300 health heavy. Of course, this does not account for ramp up, which at max ramp, ramp excuse me, god I can't fucking talk, which at max ramp up, the L'Etranger does a meager but respectable 48 damage per shot. Clearly this revolver is not suited well for direct combat. However, that does not mean the L'Etranger is completely useless as a weapon. But ever since the Pyro update dropped and Razorback snipers can't be overhealed anymore, you'll have a much easier time dealing with them as you can 3-shot them at close range just as you can with the stock revolver. Of course the Ambassador can accomplish this in 2 shots, but the utility of the Ambassador is geared towards direct combat with it, and the L'Etranger is geared towards utilizing Cloak more efficiently. But since the Pyro update essentially nerfed the Ambassador into the ground for really no good reason, the stock revolver is really the only benchmark for spy primaries anymore. Anyway, back on topic. It'd be a crime to make a video about the L'Etranger and not talk about how piss poor of a weapon it was upon being added to the game, and how outlandishly overpowered of an item set it was once a part of. I mean, I guess it still is part of the item set, but, you know, it doesn't make your decloaks nearly silent anymore, so... you know. Upon being added to the game, the L'Etranger's original stats were simply plus 15 cloak every time you landed a shot, and a 20% damage penalty. Pictured here is the room of spies who were using this revolver seriously. It was not worth using over the stock of the Ambassador at all, as the plus 15 cloak you got from each shot, while potentially useful in some situations, overall was not worth trading the more reliable damage output of the stock or the Ambassador to get it. And yes, I say stock and Ambassador because the Enforcer and the Diamondback didn't exist yet. Well, that was certainly depressing. It wasn't nearly as depressing as Suck Satan's cock! If this is the room full of spies who are using the L'Etranger as a weapon, here's the room full of spies who are using it as part of the Saharan spy set. This item set includes the L'Etranger, your eternal reward, and the familiar Fez. What it did was if you had all three of these items equipped at the same time, your decloaks would be nearly silent, even with the Dead Ringer. 
needless to say, it was very common to see pubs filled with these spies. Yeah, those ones right there. Finally, after Valve playtested TF2 for the first time in a quarter century, they realized, holy god, this bullshit is stupidly overpowered. We better do something about it before all these weeaboos burn this place to the ground. And thusly, in the summer 2013 patch, the item set bonus was removed. Additionally, it was at this exact time that the Latrange received its current plus 40% cloak duration attribute. And <laughs> suddenly they had taken the shittiest revolver the spy had and somehow made it one of the best. All of a sudden it's no longer, oh no, I gotta pew pew someone across the map to get my cloak back. Now it's, oh my, I can span the globe unnoticed which leads me to the L'Etranger in the current day. Holy shit, I suck at transitions. With its new stats, the L'Etranger is now a comparable choice of spy primary, even in a competitive situation. Nowadays, you'll see the L'Etranger being used by extremely high-skilled spies, Highlander knife spies, and clueless douchebags on the internet. Before the Pyro update, the Ambassador kind of overshadowed every other spy revolver, even the stock one. But as sad as the Ambassador getting nerfed in the toilet is, Sidebar. I never really used the ambi that much to begin with. I suck complete ass at aiming, which is why I used the L'Etranger. Ah, yes, play to your strengths. But anyway, now that the Ambassador is useful as tits as a borehole. God, I fucking can't talk. But anyway, now that the Ambassador is as useful as tits on a borehog, the stock revolver and the L'Etranger are now getting a lot more of the attention they always deserved. And I encourage any new spy out there to give the L'Etranger a go. Hell, any spy. But, especially for new spies, it will help you tremendously with managing your cloak, which as I've said before, and will definitely say again, is the paramount skill on Spy to Master, before backstabbing, before acting while disguised, especially before learning to trick stab, cloak management. Learn it, and your future spy self will thank you for it. Anyway folks, that's all I've got to say about the L'Etranger. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope maybe you learned a little bit, who knows. Anyway, that's all for now, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.